Hey, guess what? I was talking to my grandma, and she said Pluto is a planet. <coughs> Actually, Quinn, Pluto used to be considered a planet, but now it's a dwarf planet. You guys are absolutely crazy. You guys are getting confused with Disney cartoons, the dwarfs and Pluto? Come on. Yes? Right? <laughs> Dwarf planets are little rocky masses that orbit the sun in our solar system. And dwarf planets are the same as regular planets, they're just, well, smaller. As of 2008, there are five official dwarf planets in our solar system. They are Ceres, Pluto, Haumea, Make Make, and Eris. And we'll learn a little bit more about these planets a little later in this video. In 2006, the International Astronomical Union chose the name Dwarf Planet for solar system objects that were larger than tiny solar system bodies like comets and asteroids, but not really a planet. The main difference is that dwarf planets have not moved away other objects in their area's orbit. And this means that dwarf planets do not push away or join with other objects when revolving around the sun. Here is an example. Imagine you were floating on a raft. And if you were by a bunch of other people, they may not move and you'd float around them. But if you were captaining a large boat or cruise ship, Anything smaller than you would move and get out of the way. An object with a mass large enough for its strong gravity to have cleared up or caused other objects to join it are considered to be a planet. An object that has not done this and hasn't grown larger is a dwarf planet. Dwarf planets were first discovered back in 2006, with the first five identified planets being the ones we mentioned before. Ceres, Pluto, Haumea, Make Make, and Eris. And hey, guess what? Outer space is always being explored. This doesn't mean that there are only these five dwarf planets, because outer space is always being explored. In fact, there are scientists that believe there could be hundreds, maybe even thousands of dwarf planets that still need to be discovered. Dwarf planets became more popular and more people became aware of them when the New Horizons spacecraft traveled by Pluto in 2015. That's probably why your grandma said that Pluto was a planet, because she's like super old, right? What did you just say? Whoa, Gus. Hopefully she doesn't watch this video. Uh, anyway. Scientists recognize that Pluto most likely originated in the Kuiper Belt, and even though it did pass most descriptions of a planet, it hadn't cleared the neighborhood around its orbit. Now let's talk about the five dwarf planets. The dwarf planet Ceres was discovered in 1801, and it is the closest dwarf planet to the Sun, and exists in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Hey, guess what? Ceres was thought to be a planet for about a half a century before being reclassified as an asteroid. But then, in 2006, it was considered a dwarf planet. And Ceres is the smallest of the five dwarf planets with a diameter of only 584 miles, and is the only planet that is not in the Kuiper Belt. Ceres is very rocky with strange spots located on its exterior. And hey, guess what? So far, Ceres is the only dwarf planet that is in the asteroid belt. 
The asteroid belt is a section of our solar system between Mars and Jupiter, where many small masses orbit our sun. And hey, guess what? This is really cool. Scientists think that Ceres may have an ocean beneath its crust. And this could mean that living things have a chance to survive there. Pluto is the second closest dwarf planet to our sun and lives in the Kuiper Belt. That's Kuiper Belt. <laughs> I have no idea what you said, but that's Kuiper Belt. <laughs> Just look up. That's what it is. Kuiper Belt. That's right. Pluto used to be considered the ninth planet in our solar system until it was reclassified as a dwarf planet on August 24th in 2006. Wow, this is surprising. Your grandma was actually right, Quinn and Cadence, and I was actually pretty wrong. Pluto was the smallest planet when it was considered a planet, but now it's actually the largest of the dwarf planets with a diameter of 1,000 473 miles and has five moons. And most astronomers accepted the new classification for Pluto, but some don't and still refer to Pluto as the ninth planet. Haumea is the third closest dwarf planet to the sun and also exists in the Kuiper Belt. And Humea was listed as a dwarf planet on September 17th in 2008. Its longest dimension is about 1,220 miles. Whoa. You see, Humea is unusual. Even though it is rounded, it is also very elongated. It's kind of shaped like a football. It rotates on its axis very quickly. It is able to perform one full rotation in a little bit under four hours. This makes Haumea one of the fastest rotating large masses in our entire solar system. Haumea has two moons. Make Make is the fourth closest dwarf planet, as well as the third largest dwarf planet in our solar system. Make Make is also located in the Kuiper Belt. Make Make is red and has one moon and is a perfect sphere with zero atmosphere. Make Make has a diameter of around 900 miles. And last but not least, we have the dwarf planet Eris. Eris is the fifth closest dwarf planet to the sun. And like the other three besides Cirrus, it is located in the Kuiper Belt. Eris was classified as a dwarf planet on September 13th in 2006. Eris is the furthest dwarf planet from our sun and takes over 550 years for it to orbit around it. Eris has one moon and a diameter of 1,445 miles. There could be millions and millions of dwarf planets, like the ones we have outside of our solar system. And the only reason we don't know for sure is because we just haven't found them with our current technology. But that could change. We'll just have to wait and find out. Well, hey, guess what? Now we know all about dwarf planets. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Bye. Bye. And you better tell your grandma about Pluto, right? Yeah. So she doesn't seem so silly.